every great platform has a great IDE. And I'm uh, happy to announce today the general availability of AWS Cloud9. Yeah? <laughs> Which is a, uh, a fully managed cloud IDE for running, writing, running, and debugging code that is actually pretty spectacular. And to actually show you more of Cloud9, I would like to invite on stage Claire Ligiori, senior software engineer at Amazon Web Services, who's going to talk to you more about Cloud9. You ready, Anker? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Claire Ligori. I'm a software engineer in AWS Developer Tools. And with me here today is Ankur Agarwal, the product manager for AWS Cloud9. We are super excited to be here on stage at reInvent today. And we're going to give you a quick demo of Cloud9. We're really excited to show you everything that we love about this IDE. So let's get started. This is AWS Cloud9. This is Ankur's Cloud9 environment, which we're able to pull up on any browser, like on this computer on stage. Ankur and I have been working on some side projects together recently, which I want to walk you through. We've been working on some applications to build applications that help us to throw team parties for the Cloud9 team. On the left panel of the screen, you can see we have a DJ app where people can vote on the music they want to hear at our team parties. And there's a trivia night app preloaded with some AWS trivia for our team trivia nights. On the right-hand side, you can see the Cloud9 code editor with some of our project code open. Cloud9 also has a full terminal built right into the IDE. I personally really like to customize my IDE, so I always go in and change the theme. I like this dark theme. Anker likes it a bit lighter. I also always change the key binding. Emacs is the obvious right choice here. I'm a diehard user, but Anker likes the default. <laughs> The other thing that I really like about Cloud9 is the number of languages and syntax highlighters that come pre-installed. We've mostly been working in JavaScript and Ruby, but we've also been experimenting with Python and Golang. So let's jump in and run one of these applications. We're now going to run the Trivia Night app right in the IDE. And then we can go and preview this running application. So without having to install Ruby or Rails on the stage computer, we're able to jump in and make sure we've got the right AWS trivia installed. So that was our trivia night app. We also have our DJ app where people can upvote or downvote songs for the party. So let's switch over to the terminal. We have the list of songs that people can vote on stored in a file in S3. So Anker is now using the AWS CLI to download it. The CLI was really easy to get started with because it comes pre-installed with all of our AWS account credentials. So let's go ahead and open up that file. And um, Ankur, I think this is your personal playlist. <laughs> That's a lot of Britney Spears. I, I love Britney, too. Um, I hear that she has a great show here in Vegas. And another thing with a fantastic show here in Vegas this week is serverless applications. So Anker and I, for our side project, we've been working with serverless a lot, and we're really excited about the possibilities here. Cloud9 really helped us to iterate really quickly on the Lambda functions we've built. Right here from within the IDE, you can see all the Lambda blueprints, which helped us get started really quickly. I want to show you a sample Lambda application that we built that orders food for our party. Our big plan here is that we'll be able to place an order to our local pizza place at the push of a button. But for now, we've got a proof of concept that orders pizza. So what Anker is doing now is he's importing this Lambda function into his Cloud9 environment. And now we're looking at the code that orders the pizza. So let's go ahead and jump down to the order details. So because this is a proof of concept, we currently have our order hard-coded to two pepperoni pizzas. So we've got that set. But we want to throw a party here at reInvent. So we're going to change the address from Amazon headquarters to the MGM Grand. 
and we should probably test this before we actually place an order. So we'll set a breakpoint and run the debugger. We're going to run this with the run local option. What that means is that we're actually testing out what our code would do if we ran it directly in Lambda. So let's see how we did. So we'll turn on debugging, go to run. So our debugger hit the breakpoint. So we're, we'll scroll down and look at the variables, make sure we made the right change. Perfect. So you can see the MGM grand, we have the right address. So we'll go ahead and resume this and let it run. Awesome. So our test order was successfully placed, but of course this was just a test. Before we push this to production, I want to go in and review Anker's change. So Anker, can you share your Cloud9 environment with me? This is one of my favorite Cloud9 features. Right now, Anker is going in and giving me full access to his environment, so we can pair program together and review code. Great, so I'll go in and get in my environment. Okay, I'm logged in. So what you're seeing now is my screen is on the left-hand side with my blue theme, and Anker's is on the right-hand side in the light theme. You can see our initials on the upper right corner of the screen, which means we're both online in this environment. We can also hover over each other's cursor and see what code we're looking at. Anker and I use this a lot to pair program. So I can go in and highlight some lines on the screen, and then they show up on Anker's screen in purple. Wait, 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 wait. I'll do that. Ah. <laughs> OK. Finally, my <laughs> first chance to write production code. Yeah? <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Small characters. OK, fine. What do you need to do, Claire? So what I want you to do is, Anker and I use this to pair program a lot. Is there a change that you want to make? Oh, yeah. There needs to be beer with the pizza. <laughs> obviously, obviously. So one of the things that Anker and I like to do is chat within the Cloud9 IDE. Okay. So go ahead on the right-hand side of the screen. Go ahead and tell Anker that you're going to make a change. OK. So Werner says, hey, Anker, I have one more thing to add. I wonder what that could be. And, and Anker says, go for it. So okay. Werner, on the left-hand panel, go ahead and make your change. Wait. I'm getting old. <laughs> so as Werner's typing, you can see that his changes are showing up on Anker's screen on the right-hand side. And Cloud9 autocomplete is popping up, helping him to fill in the right order parameters. So it looks like he's added our two beers. OK. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Werner. <laughs> okay. So Anker, now that that's done, go ahead and push it to production. So what Anker's doing now is he's taking the changes that Werner made in our local environment and deploying them to Lambda. And then we can go and actually run these changes, actually invoke this function. So we're going to select Run Remote and really place our production order. Awesome. So our production order was placed, and pizza and beer and are on the way. Thank you so much. Please check out AWS Cloud9 and the console later today. <laughs> well, that's fast delivery. <laughs> Thank you guys for a great demo. Uh, I left the beers downstairs, uh, backstage. You guys <laughs> enjoyed them. Thank you. Thank you.